actually have a new uh, Waffle House we'll be going to today. It's in downtown Atlanta. And I'm hoping that um, there won't be any issues with that one. make a left inside of it than trying to make a right. Alrighty. Thread the needle, son. Thread that needle. Now I went to the truck stop. They pushed my spot mirror out. I gotta fix that right quick. Had to get some of that hydraulic fluid off of the truck.
years, this does not work right. <laughs> Gonna get that issue resolved soon too. I was talking to Randy at CES and he said that's something they can't fix. They can put an overlay over the uh, existing floor and weld it to it. And that'll solve that problem. So as soon as I get the Peterbilt back up and going and squared away, I'll take care of this one, the floor. He said it may actually not be my hydraulic pump. Um, that's causing everything to work slowly. But what Randy said, it could actually be the main pressure relief valve um, on the valve body. So. So. I'll look into it and see what's what. I would have took that opportunity to go while he was turning, but I need to swing a little wide and I didn't want to get too close to him or have a car over here come around him. Blood mobile. thing I don't like about running in daylight and traffic. <laughs> in the wee hours of the night, early morning, I can move how I want to at my speed. Once daylight comes, you're at the mercy of traffic. Continue on Howell Mill Road for three quarters of a mile. I'm still not going that way yet. I thank you. the comments on Dre's latest video and it's cool to see all the unity that we have across the country whether it's front end or um, residential whatever the case may be I like seeing that like Dre said you know as far as the um, how the police and the fire departments do for their falling Dre there are actually um, companies that will do that I know for a fact there have been companies um, where a front end driver had passed away and they actually carried his casket on the forks the truck he would drive you know he was assigned to they had it leading a convoy of trucks behind him and whatnot and I thought that was pretty cool he said that was his last ride then um, I've seen companies that would have a convoy of trucks. There was actually one just on Facebook not too long ago. And it looked like Republic, actually. So, yeah, I guess it just depends on your management team, you know. But they had a convoy of Republic trucks, front loaders, uh, rear loaders, and all. You know, even a mechanic truck was involved. So that was pretty straight. Yep, yeah, being that we are a brotherhood as well, you know, and sisterhood. Definitely can't forget the ladies that's in this too.
from the Chattahoochee. The nasty hoochie. <laughs>
I try to be quiet here when I come because of those lofts. But it's daylight, so I can have some fun. Make it there no way. Covington didn't keep it the cleanest, but mechanically, they kept it right, so not mad about that. You always have to watch people that put on their signals early.
some kind of way to go down Decatur Street and come around the back of it. Because I don't see it. I don't think this truck will make that turn. I don't believe so. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to like this one. Look like there is an alley back there. I'm trying to figure out how the heck to get to it. Down here by Georgia State University. But I'll be back with you guys. I gotta figure out where the heck I'm going to get to this can. Hopefully, this is on one way here.
turn before I don't know. This, this is wild. There has to be a way to get behind those buildings. I just don't see it. Even when I came up Decatur Street, there was nowhere to turn to go behind it. Redonkulous, redonkulous.
Thank you, baby. Gotta love them. See, I would have never known this was back here. The address is on uh, one street, but the can sits on a totally different one. Gotta love front end, baby. <laughs> Especially downtown. Gotta love it. minutes for my next one but I guess the next time I come down here it won't be as bad um, now I know where to come to that's a good thing so get off the expressway we'll make our uh, right turn and then a left into the back of the complex congested in the daytime so I just go around Getting on my nerves. 
This is uh, something <laughs> we run into a lot where the tractor trailer drivers are actually just sort of shrink wrap. Let me get out of the glove. Need both hands. A lot of times they'll throw that stuff on top of the cans or they'll stick it in the doors like they did just now. 
And this is always silly too. Trash goes in. Not hanging out. And when I take that can up, the door is left open. All that stuff hits the ground. And make a big mess. started their investigation. No word on the condition of the two injured students. All right, thank you, Veronica. The accused killer of that six-month-old baby in West Atlanta is set to appear in court this morning. 22-year-old... She's been on many radio stations since I was a kid. are expected. New research traffic reports, out of Oregon Health and Science University finds that there are two paths towards super immunity against COVID-19. The university has released a study that shows you get the same level of immunity from being infected and vaccinated as you do from getting vaccinated and then having a breakthrough infection. The antibodies developed are at least 10 times
Beach.
right guys we made it back to Saturday just pulling out of the landfill we got a good little dusting over here with snow uh, early this morning last night I believe where I live we didn't get any that's why when I got on this side of town I was kind of surprised to see it for this week I'm not sure how next week is gonna go I wasn't contacted Friday by dispose so let's just play it by ear over the weekend if not I'll be back on my cardboard route and then uh, my own trash route doing what we do big shout out to JB Mercado up there in Charlotte doing this thing JB's a real good guy for those that follow him on Facebook and Instagram. Been in business for a long time. It's funny too, we know a lot of the same people locally and uh, some out of state as well. That's what's up. Been in this trash game 21 years now. Started out when I was 17, originally working as a temp uh, for Robertson Sanitation up in Winder, Georgia. On the back of the brown and white trucks. <laughs> Stay warm because it's cold this morning here. It's actually in the 20s. Some uh, really strong wind gusts. Hopefully by Monday everything will be thawed out. Yeah, you guys be safe. Big shout out to all my uh, solid waste industry workers, wherever you are. Do it again, Lord willing, next week. Peace and blessings.